What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to go over my top five games I'm very, very worried about. This is going to be a really, I think, a really, really fun video. Uh, a couple things I want to make uh, kind of clear, kind of like set the stage uh, for this list. These have to be games that are actually coming out, that we know are confirmed, and they also have to be things that, I guess, firstly, like, I actually care about, and also games that I think I'm genuinely, like, connected with, right, that I think that I actually am worried about them. So I'm sure there's probably games that are not on my list that maybe you guys uh, could say, and I definitely want to hear all of your thoughts and your own list in the comments below. I'm sure there's games you could put on. There's just some games to me that maybe I don't connect to, or maybe games uh, I was thinking about, like Ghost of Tsushima, which isn't on this list. I feel kind of confident about that game, so there are some games that I feel like, because I'm confident on, obviously I can't put it on a list like this. So let's go over these again. These are my top five. I'm going to start from the ones that I'm least most worried about uh, to the ones that I absolutely absolutely am. Uh, so coming in at number five is Little Hope. It's a game that I've talked quite a bit about on this channel for being such a small game. You would think, man, Alex talks about this game quite a lot. I also talk about it uh, on my second channel actually quite a bit too. It's a game that I'm excited for. It's a game that I'm going to get day one. Uh, it's only going to be $30, so there is a smaller risk involved with getting a game like this. Really, out of all of these games, this game I think has been through the most. It's just that maybe also out of all these games, this is the one that I feel like I'm least connected to. I'm also getting more like upset with it. I've set my expectations for when we actually get this game. I've set it extremely low at this point. I am worried about it. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely worried about it. This game was really, they, they planned, Supermassive uh, Games planned to release these games every six months, which uh, puts this game almost a full six months uh, you know, past when it was supposed to come out. Okay, it's probably going to come out around this. Actually, it got delayed because of the thing going on around the world uh, to like the fall, which is a full year after Man of Medan when it was supposed to come out six months later. Uh, you know, it's not what we saw was good. It wasn't like absolutely incredible where I'm just like pacing back and forth every day hoping for it. You know what I mean? So I'm not insanely invested with this game, but this game has gone through quite a bit. There's a lot riding on this game. I think of this game is uh, even just not as non-inspiring, right? Just like not really anything to talk about like Man of Medan was. Then I think that's going to be a really, really bad sign for the future. Remember, they have six more games they have planned for this this a Dark Pictures anthology after this game. And if this game sucks, I, I, you know, it, it's going to be a pretty rocky road going forward. Number four is Halo Infinite. Um, this game I'm very excited for. Okay, I I have an Xbox One. I'm not a main, you know, my main console is PlayStation, so I'm not, I'm like a main Xbox guy. But I'm very interested in this game. I'm not going to get the Series X right away. I probably will end up getting it like a, a year or two down the line. going to be getting the PS5. But one of the reasons I actually like Microsoft Microsoft strategy of, hey, games that you can play on Series X, at least uh, Microsoft exclusives, you can also play on the Xbox One. That's perfect for me. Is I want to play Hellblade 2. I want to play Halo Infinite, and so I will. I'm definitely going to be getting Halo Infinite day one, but I mean, this is an example of another game that really has just gone off the grid. There's a couple other games that I've talked about before that have literally just disappeared for years on end. Halo is one of them. Halo is absolutely one of them that they haven't really shown this game off in for a game that's releasing this fall, uh, you know, they've taken a, definitely a different strategy. I know, like, The Last of Us isn't the greatest example right around now with everybody's opinion on it. But you even look at that game. You look at a lot of the Sony exclusives that have come out over the last couple of years. You even go back a few years to, like, God of War, Days Gone last year, stuff like that. Think about those games and... They were shown years ago. It's you know it's been a long build up to them. Halo Infinite has had none of that. Halo Infinite is going to get pretty much shown in July and then what come out in November. So it's going to have four months and maybe in those four months, I'm sure we'll see a lot. But it hasn't really been building over the last several years. And maybe that is a bold and that is a bold strategy. So if it works, I give them full credit for. It. But if that doesn't work or you know if they didn't plan it that way, like they wanted to show it years ago or the past couple of years, but they haven't really had a, a good quality there, then that's definitely something to be worried about, right? I think it's hard to not be, and again, just the magnitude of how big a game like Halo is, it's definitely Microsoft's big gun, okay? It's going to be going up against Spider-Man for 
PlayStation. I mean, this is the game that can sell the Series X and already an established franchise, but a franchise in Halo that's very up and down, especially over the last three, four entries. Very, very up and down. It's not, it is the sales juggernaut. It, it still sells just, you know, it, I think it actually sells slightly uh, less, but it's still a really, really big seller for them, but it's not the guaranteed hit in all assets uh, that it used to be. You know what I mean? So in that regard, it's definitely a game that we have to keep our eye on, and I'm very excited to see it. I just think we have reason to be worried about it. Number three is Mafia 1, Mafia Definitive Edition. Um, the, the, It really has given me no reason in terms of what we've seen from Mafia 1 to be worried, but what we've gone through with Mafia so far definitely has, right? I've talked about uh, my opinions on Mafia before. Obviously, I have, have uh, played 3 back in the day when it first came out. I played 2 with the Definitive Edition, that you know, I, and I played it for the very, very first time, and I have a lot of strong opinions on that game. Uh, Mafia 1, basically, it just needs to be good. That's mainly my main reason why I'm I'm worried about it is I think the game can be really good from what we've seen. I mean, the game looks absolutely incredible. You know, all the all the above. It looks really, really good. But at the same time, we haven't seen all that much inside the game. Is it going to feel empty? Is it going to if it's if it's Mafia in 2020, it should be pretty good. But there's a lot riding on this because it really so far. If you start with Mafia 3, you didn't get a good start. This Mafia trilogy definitely got people very, very excited. It got a lot of people talking about Mafia again, but what happened with 2 was not a good remaster at all, and it really turned a lot of people off to it. So this game, and a lot of people are actually holding off on buying the Mafia trilogy specifically because I think a lot of people are only going to buy Mafia 1. When all said and done, I think a lot of people, the the majority of people that are going to buy this game in all are going to buy Mafia 1. Okay, I really do think that. So, uh, And Mafia 1 needs to sell well. It needs to do well because really I think this is a really good test of do people like this? And not even that. Actually, it's much worse than that because I think people do like the Mafia games and people are giving them chances. It's just we're not getting good products. You know what I mean? At this, I, I, I always talk about pulse tests with remakes and remasters that you're testing to see if people like the, the property now. But the prop, it needs to be good. It needs to be a good version. It needs to be a good product. And so if this game is not good, it doesn't sell well, let's say, they may look at it and say, well, people just don't want Mafia. When it's like, no, actually, that's not true. We do want it, but we want a good version, not the ones that you You've been giving us you know what I mean so there's a lot riding on it because I really think a Mafia 4 if it's not I I still kind of think it's in development if it's not in development though and they're waiting to see how the Mafia trilogy does to kind of green light you know them doing it saying like okay it's it sold well enough let's 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 let you do a Mafia 4 if that's what they're waiting for and Mafia 1 fails there is no Mafia 4 you know what I mean so there is a lot riding on this and there is definitely reason uh, to be concerned number two how can you make a list like this actually how can you make a list like this without the next two, two and one. But number two is Marvel's Avengers. I, uh, this is a game that I think a lot of people are worried about. I think even the fans, the people that are, and I know there's a, a couple people that are really diehard uh, you know, Marvel Avenger game fans that really want this game on the channel. And I'm on board. I want this game. I'm going to be getting this game day one, all of the above, you know, all those things. But this game worries the heck out of me. It's, it's a video I made actually a couple months ago that, that a lot of people have seen now. A lot of people really like it. And I think it, I, I think it's true. I think it's true that this game has a lot going for it, but also so many aspects of this game just scream that it could be bad. It absolutely, I mean, this game could come out and it could be such a mediocre disaster. And, and disaster because it's mediocre. Not necessarily like, I don't really think this game is going to be like a, a 1 out of 10, 2 out of 10, like just an absolute garbage game. But I think it could come out and be so bland, so not filled with life, maybe empty, maybe not a good, you know, a lot, I mean, there's so many different reasons why a game could be bad, right? But all these things that just make it, like, heavily, like, average or below average, and that would be an insane disaster, because even competition-wise, DC's getting ready, Warner Bros. is getting ready, you know, Rocksteady, the Batman game, Warner Bros. Montreal, it's not just Marvel's Avengers, and even even I guess even if you want internal, con I mean Marvel's Avengers compared to Spider-Man, which are games that are still going on. I mean I think Spider-Man is going to continue to blow it out of the water. I really uh, Avengers is a little different on this list because I'm actually expecting much like Little Hope. My expectations for Avengers are not that high. All I want is a game that's like fun, that's maybe a little different, that kind of puts me in that Marvel mood. That's all I want from this game. I'm not expecting this game to be a 10. I'm not expecting this game to even be like an 8. I'm expecting this game to be an average game that's got its positives about it. And hopefully by setting my expectations there, I won't be disappointed. But I think people that are expecting it to be really, really amazing could very well get hit. This game 
game again a lot of a lot of different reasons this game screams that you should be worried about it and number one a game that really stands on top of the t the tallest building and screams that you should be worried about it is Watch Dogs Legion um it's a game that maybe not as many people care about but you know what Watch Dogs is a very sometimes I forget how big Watch Dogs is Watch Dogs is a game Watch Dogs and Watch Dogs 2 they sold over both of them sold over 10 million units okay they are massive these are legit Ubisoft games that you would imagine yes this is Watch Dogs 3 I mean, it's te technically they removed the, the uh, number, right? So it's Watch Dogs Legion. Is this a franchise that they want to continue probably past the third entry? I think it is. If, if you have a, an, uh, a franchise that's guaranteed like 10 plus million units, I don't know how you stop it. You know what I mean? So Watch Dogs definitely has its fans. There's absolutely no doubt about it. But again, a game... This game, there's two main reasons. One is the delays. Okay, it was supposed to come out, and I've said this before, supposed to come out in November, last November, for current gen. Got delayed till March. Then, even before we even got close to March, got delayed indefinitely. Last we heard, fall of 2020. Everybody's kind of saying fall of 2020. Uh, it would be like a cross-gen release with current gen, uh, current gen and next gen, which is fine. But again, so you got two really big delays, the second of which put you in an indefinite territory, which is never good. And then also, it's probably going to release, in fact, people on the inside have said multiple times that they think that Ubisoft is very willing to make the, uh, this game come out around the same time as Assassin's Creed. That these games would come out within like a month of each other, and they're okay with that. I've talked about in the past, I think that is a death sentence. I think that is one of the worst possible things you can do. These are games that work the best when they're far away from each other, when they're six months away from each other, heck, when they're a year away from each other. Remember, Watch Dogs is the replacement fall game for Assassin's Creed. Why do you think it was supposed to come out last fall? Because it was supposed to fill the gap of Assassin's Creed, because then Assassin's Creed would come out this fall. You know what I mean? So, a lot has happened and at this point we've seen gameplay from a little from a year ago and that's it we don't really know anything else about it uh besides what we what we've seen what we've heard which sounds promising i mean the game i think what we saw i'm getting this game day one i'm excited about this game but i think if there's any game that really really worries me is this game i feel like ubisoft is going to maybe try and sneak it out like they did with ghost recon the last uh, breakpoint i feel like they're going to sneak it out there it's going to compete with assassin's creed it's not going to sell well it actually may kill the Watch Dogs franchise. I think it. I don't think it will. I think it's got the possibility of doing that, and that right there is a major mistake, and and, and it really, really does worry me. I think honestly, the fact that the game's release and and you know one of my main concerns about being worried about it is that it could actually destroy the entire franchise. I think that gives it reason enough to be number one on my list. So guys, let me know in the comments below. This is really fun. I loved making this video. Let me know in the comments what's your list. Are there any games? Maybe again some games I missed. I didn't include. Obviously, I couldn't include Last of Us. I probably would have if I made this video a few weeks ago. But I didn't include Ghost of Tsushima. I didn't include like Cyberpunk. There are definitely Assassin's Creed. There's a lot of other games out there. And again, I only did confirmed games. I mean, there's a lot of games that are in development that we know about that aren't confirmed yet. Maybe some of those worry me as well, and in fact, some of them do, but those don't make this list. Okay, so let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed, have the bell icon turned on, check out our Discord. It'll be in the description below, and our Twitter. I do have a Twitter. I'm pretty active over there. If you guys haven't followed me over there and joined our Discord, uh, those will be in the description below. Would love to have you guys following along. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this. I I love making them, and I hope to make them again for you guys very, very soon.